Now the other thing I want to do in this video is I want to hide pretty much the container 2. It's still going to serve a, a purpose here, but I'm going to kind of get rid of its view. I want to get rid of the green. I want to get rid of the spacing. I want my sidebar container to be flush left where the left of the header is, and I want the main container to be flush right where the header is as well. So, easy enough to do. I simply go to my container 2 and I start to undo things that I've done before. Background color, I'm going to get rid of it. It's gone. Border, 5 pixels, getting rid of that 2. Now that's gone. Getting there, we're getting there. Now my container 2 still has some padding. I'm going to get rid of that as well. And now we start to see that it's moved over. Now don't forget this little inset is because because my header also had some margins. So, if I wanted that space, I could take care of it. I could simply go to my container 2 and put in a property. And I could put in something like padding 5 pixels. And that'll get it me measured up correctly. Of course, I could have also <coughs> I could have also have taken away the left and right margin of my header and the left and right margin of my footer, but this is one way to get the to get the objective. Let me do a control S to save. Let's look at this on Internet Explorer. There it is, and let's look at this on Firefox. There we go. So now we can see that these elements are flush with their header and their footer elements. What I want to do now is I want to center this content on the page. As it stands, my web page is going to fill up the available width to me. So if I narrow this, everything is going to fill up the space. Of course, I do have some margin. Actually, take that back. I do have some padding on my container 1 div. This yellow box here is the container 1 div, and that's got that cushion of space around it. But let's assume that I don't want my content area, my web page, to expand and contract with the width of the browser. So on a lot of blogs, they're, they're a fixed width, and they're often centered right down the middle of the page. Centered horizontally, that is. So let's take care of that, and it's pretty easy to do. In Dreamweaver, to really help this stand out, I need to go to my container 1. My container 1 contains everything. Okay, Let me go back to my code view just as a reminder here. Container 1 starts right after my body tag, and Container 1 does not end until right before the closing body tag. So everything you see on my web page is within my Container 1. So by default, Container 1, like any other div, takes up the full width available to it. Well, I'm going to limit that width, and I'm going to create, or I'm going to edit the existing rule, and I'm going to make my Container 1 to only be. 700 pixels wide. And I'll go ahead and apply that. And I'll click OK. Now because I'm in Dreamweaver on a narrow resolution here, it's not as noticeable. But let's see what that's done on the browser. I'll do a Control S to save. Internet Explorer. Refresh. Here we go. Notice how my container 1 is narrower than my available resolution. And of course by default it's on the left. And of course we'll see the same thing in Firefox when I reload. There we go. So the next objective is, how do I get that container 1 into the center? So one of the first techniques that a beginner might do is text align center for their CSS. So let's try that out. I don't have a rule for my body yet, so I'm going to go ahead and create a new rule. And this will be a tag selector for the body of the page. And the only thing I want to do is text align center. And I'll find that in my block category, block text align center. And you remember by doing text align center on the container it should center everything in the page. Let's check this out. I'll go ahead and click OK. My body is going to text align center. In fact just to ensure let me take my body rule and move it just a bit higher than my container 1 rule. I'm going to do control S to save. Internet Explorer. Refresh. Mm. Firefox. Refresh. Well, this didn't have the reaction we might have hoped for. My container is still on the left side, but notice all of the content within my various divs got centered. So text align center is really not the best way to center if you want to center large sections of layout elements. So back at Dreamweaver, I'm going to take my body rule and simply delete it. Let's try this again. Body rule, hit a little trash can to delete it. So that's gone. 
And in this case, I'm going to go to my container one and I'm going to add a little bit more to it. I'm going to edit my container one rule, my main container. I'm going to go to the box category and for margins I'm going to uncheck the same for all and I'm going to do a left margin of auto and a right margin of auto and then apply can't really see it here so let me click OK file save Internet Explorer refresh there we go Firefox refresh there we go so by putting automatic margins on the left and the right of my main container it has given it, technically, the illusion of being centered. If there's equal margin on the left and the right, the item with those margins must be centered. And you'll notice if I resize my browser window here, the item still appears centered because the margins are automatically adjusting with its container. In this, contain in this example, the container is the browser window. Now, of course, if we wanted it to be a little further from the top, then I would simply put in some top margin.